All right, it's Tuesday morning, and that is our opportunity here on CB24 Breakfast to be joined as we are weekly by Dr. Isaac Bogosh, infectious disease specialist at Toronto General Hospital. There is always something to talk about, Dr. Bogosh. We appreciate your time. We've also really been following very closely this measles outbreak in and around the Brantford Grand Erie area, where there are now up to 21 confirmed cases. It's been really interesting for me to sort of hear the different warnings to the public about, you know, where there are possible exposures and kind of says a lot just about how easily diseases can spread here. So a couple things. First of all, what are the lessons uh, from this outbreak from your perspective here? Well, it's just a reminder that measles is the most contagious infection on the planet, that there's a large global resurgence of it, and that we're, of course, not immune to outbreaks in Canada, especially when we see under-vaccinated pockets, under-vaccinated communities. When this virus is introduced, it will spread if there are susceptible hosts. And it's really, really important that everybody is up to date on their routine childhood immunizations. Uh, the, the vaccine does a remarkable job, a remarkable job in preventing infections. We have decades and decades of experience with this vaccine. It works extremely well. Is it 100 percent perfect? No, of course, nothing in medicine or in life is 100 percent perfect. But it does a remarkable job in preventing infection and preventing outbreaks. And this can be a potentially serious infection, totally preventable. And we really have to make sure that we double down on our efforts to build trust mm -hmm. in public health to ensure that people are vaccinated. And a lot of the uh, sort of earlier reporting on this uh, talked about cases in, in that southwestern Ontario kind of Brantford area here. But now we're hearing about an arena in Newmarket, other health centers. What should people be looking for or considering if they've, they're in one of these areas around those times? What should you be looking for symptoms wise? Well, a couple of things. Remember, the first dose of the vaccine is given at around age one. So theoretically, the most susceptible people will be the will be infants uh, under the age of one. But if you're under vaccinated, meaning you've only had one uh, dose of vaccine uh, or unvaccinated, you are susceptible. And, you know, the first symptoms of measles are pretty nonspecific. It's mm -hmm. you know, cough, runny nose, feeling generally unwell. But then after a couple of days of that, there's this classic rash, which you're showing on the screen. It's called the morbilliform rash because <laughs> of uh, the, the virus itself, the measles virus. And, uh, and then it's, it's, it's a pretty clear-cut sign. Now, I think another important point, though, is if someone has symptoms of measles and you're going to go get checked out at a clinic or an emergency department or an urgent care center, call ahead. Call ahead. Don't just walk in there. This is a very transmissible infection, and there might be other people in that facility that could get this. So they will make um, uh, arrangements to ensure that you're either in a special room or have a, 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 a special mask on to ensure that you protect others around you. Yeah, okay, great points there. Also, Dr. Bogers, I noticed on X on your feed there that because of the new administration south of the border, when it comes to public health information, you're trying to help Americans find some good information. How worried are you then about the kind of changes taking place, uh, you know, in the states when it comes to getting good and accurate health information? Yeah, you know, we've heard about some of the big um, websites from you know, large U.S. agencies either uh, removing some information or not being available. And uh, there was some concern about uh, timely access to good quality health and public health information. And I think it's just important to recognize that, you know, these are, these are public institutions, that's public data. And of course, that's really meant for the public. Well, the Public Health Agency of Canada is a fantastic institution. We have world-class data, excellent advice, updated dashboards, good health tips. And I think it's important that it's, you know, obviously Canadians are aware of it, but not just Canada, the rest of the world can, can see this as well. I mean, health is universal. And yes, while there definitely is a Canadian bend to the data and, and advice, a lot of this data is, uh, and, and advice is applicable worldwide. And I think it's just helpful to share uh, this wonderful resource that we have with not mm -hmm. just the United States, but the rest of the world as well. And it's tariff free. Okay, Dr. Isaac Bogosh, <laughs> appreciate your time this morning. We'll talk soon. Have a great day.